today we'll be studying enterprise information system and here in we are studying chapter 3 so basically i'll be dividing chapter 3 into two parts part 1 and part 2 part 1 will be consisting about 20 answers and part 2 will be consisting about 45 answers and uh, 25 answers so in all you all have 45 answers having cheat codes so with this cheat code you all can remember the head points and you all can write in a theory that is one to two points for every head point in your own words and we'll be covering entire syllabus having head point answers of the enterprise information system so we'll start with the first answer that is what does an is model comprises of what does an is model comprises of so basically this cheat code is very easy in order to learn this head points you all need to remember ipo for sure that is input process output feedback storage second question explain component of is that is information system in order to remember this you all need to remember that people are hard and soft and your and ka spelling is nd and not a n d so people are hard that is hardware then n stands for network t stands for data and soft stands for software explain various functional units of cpu we all have learned that cpu is the brain it is the fastest part so to remember this answer you all need to remember that car is the fastest thing so car and cpu goes together so car and cpu so explain the various functional units of cpu you all will remember car why cpu is fast and car is also fast that is control unit arithmetical and logical unit and registers explain types of register so for this we have used the cheat code math because in the register normal registers that we use we save information at mass so miscellaneous accumulator address register and storage register various types of output so how can you see the output output can be seen on a screen or monitor so in our case it is tv so remember the cheat code output can be seen on tv that is tag tv t stands for tactual output a stands for audio output g stands for graphical output t stands for tactile output v stands for video output now this comes an interesting question it is a it is a star mark question because it is one of the important questions according to me and put a star mark over this question because this is an interesting question and expected in exams explain the various activities that are executed by the operating system so in our case we have to remember that mtnl the company mtnl uses operating system now remember why does it uses operating system it uses operating system to perform user file management to perform user file management so remember this thing the cheat code is mtnl performing user file management so as soon as the question comes various activities executed by the operating system remember this thing operating system is used by mtnl in order to perform user file management so mtnl performing user file management m stands for memory management t stands for task management n stands for networking capabilities l stands for logical access security performing hardware functions user interface and file management question 7 and question 8 will be covered in the 8th video uh, second part sorry and now comes the ninth question that is explain major advantages of dbms in order to remember this point this is also one of the good questions and is a quality questions so remember every advantage dbms stands for database and remember that every advantage comes with a disadvantage so your disadvantage here being is oof i am papi so in order to remember the advantages of dbms remember that you are a papi oof i am papi u stands for user friendly f stands for faster application development i stands for integrity can be maintained m stands for minimizing data redundancy p stands for permitting data sharing a stands for achieving program or data independence p stands for program file consistency and i stands for improved security disadvantages of dbms is not a quality questions and i've included here as it is a part of your syllabus so disadvantages of dbms you'll have to remember cs not counter strike cs that is cost and security this is also one of the important question and in this question y'all can't change the order of the head points the head points are supposed to be in a flow in a flow as the question is explain the steps involved in data mining process y'all can't change the steps y'all need to remember it in a flow so remember the story y'all went for mining and the mine collapsed and the mine collapsed when the mine collapsed you all got injured and needed med 
remember this word med this will click your cheat code so i've linked the question and the cheat code together so you all can't get confused between the question and the cheat code so remember this word med and your cheat code is iscti med iscti med iscti med that is data integration data selection data cleaning data transformation data mining pattern evaluation and knowledge presentation and decision now this is also one of a good questions a four pointer question that is excellent basic issues to be addressed in network designing if there are issues what does a children do he draw row bechari row row bechari so row row bechari stands for r r b c r r b c so remember this thing whenever there is an issue the children says ro ro bichari wherever there is an issue relating to network designing the children says ro ro bichari that is r r b c routing resilience bandwidth and contention now comes again a good cheat code which will help you all to remember this five points explain the important benefit of a computer network remember this thing who invented computer network who invented computer network so in our case it is dr rook dr rook so in order to link the cheat code you all need to remember the story and question explain important benefit of a computer network so ask a question who invented computer network so your mind will click dr rook dr rook t stands for distributed nature of information r stands for resource sharing r stands for reliability u stands for user communication and c stands for computational power this is a logical question very much logical but still i'm giving you all a cheat code to remember the head points properly explain some of the major ways of protection against fire damage in order to protect against fire damage one needs to find the fire first one needs to find the fire first one needs to find the fire first so the cheat code is fire finds that is fire extinguisher f stands for fire alarm i stands for inspection and raising awareness regularly n stands for norms to reduce electrical firing d stands for documented and tested emergency evacuation plans and s stands for smoke detectors Now next question is explain some major ways of protecting against power fluctuations whenever the power fluctuations happen in our case we'll assume that the electricity goes off and when the electricity goes off we feel suffocated and in gujarati and marwadi there is a saying when we suffocated it is known as jeev ghabri jaya so remember the word jeev jeev and related with suffocation so explain some major ways of protecting against power fluctuations it's jeev that is g e v that is generators electrical surge protectors emergency power off switch and voltage regulators and circuit breakers excellent various types of locks on doors the cheat code is beck as such all don't need a cheat code because it is three point answer which is very easy that is bolting lock bolting door locks electronic door locks and combination door locks again an interesting question like a five star question in case of head points and exam importance explain various technical exposures technical exposures as soon as the word exposure hits in you all need to remember the word bomb and as soon as the word technical hits in you all need to remember tata consultancy services tata consultancy services tata consultancy services so explain various technical exposures don't worry senior bomb tcs don't worry senior bomb tcs don't worry stands for tw don't worry is nothing but t w and senior ka short form is s r so don't worry senior bomb tcs is the cheat code for the question explain various technical exposure jaise exposure word suna bomb dimag mein aana chahiye and technical suna to tata consultancy service that is tcs data diddling worms spoofing rounding down bombs trap doors christmas cards and salami techniques this is a good question which can come in your exam and give you free of marks explain various techniques of asynchronous attack now here the cheat code is very manipulative and i manipulated as very bad so just listen to the story you all got employed in pwc as an article but in our case we call pwc as p w t and there was an asynchronous attack so as soon as you heard the word asynchronous attack 
PWDs should come in your mind. PWDs that is piggybacking, wire tapping, data leakage, and subversive threats. Now it is one again uh, interesting question that is explain user access management. Explain user access management. In order to manage the user's access, you all need to have certain information about the user. So you all will say user user give your personal record. User user give your personal record. user user give your personal record that is user registration user password management privilege management review of user access right now network access control here we'll take an example of a uh, quick heal and whatsapp so it's very easy your quick heal quick heal sun ke kya dimag mein aata hai firewall and it is used to safeguard the network now another word whatsapp sun ke kya dimag mein aata hai n2 and encryption and it is to what safeguard network so network access control whenever it appears as soon as the question of your network access control you need to remember two things that is whatsapp and quick heal whatsapp sath aaya encryption quick heal sath aaya firewall and the cheat code form specs of encrypted firewall specs of encrypted firewall so explain various types of network access control specs of encrypted firewall that is segregation of networks policy on use of network services and force path callback devices security of network encryption firewall This is one of the huge question now coming, which is explain various types of operating system control. Now you all need to understand in this chapter yet we have studied two questions. This is the second question of operating system of operating system. One is various activities. One is various activities, and other is various types. So don't get confused. For various activities, we add. MTNL and for various types we'll have dupatta. Do you get various types of MTNL? No, you get various types of dupatta. You get various types of dupatta. So the cheat code here is various types of operating system control has a cheat code dupatta ladu. I know it's very sarcastic, but it will for sure help you in exam. Such sarcastic cheat codes will hit in your mind. Dupatta ladu. That is discretionary access control, user identification. an authentication password management system access token terminal login procedure terminal timeout access control list limitation of connection time automated terminal identification duress alarm to safeguard users and use of system utilities and the last question for this video so here in this video we are covering about 20 questions and in another video we'll be covering about 23 to 25 questions with this we'll be covering around 45 of total questions in chapter 3 having head points which will be more than enough as head point questions so the last question for today's video explain various application and monitoring system access control so tell me children when do you control your applications or say mobile and for the word mobile will consider monitor so when do you consider monitor and application controls when do you think of controlling it when you see your exams approaching so the cheat code here is i see sem coming so when do you see as soon as you see sem coming you will enable application and monitoring system access control so i see sem coming so the cheat code is i see sem coming that is information access restriction clock synchronization sensitive system isolation event logging and monitoring system use this is it for today's video and in the next video that is part 2 we will be covering about 23 to 25 questions which will be more than enough to complete the whole chapter and then we'll start with chapter 4 and then chapter 1 and chapter 2 and lastly with chapter 5 so for next video subscribe to my channel and thank you